Hi, welcome to section 3, where we'll be exploring Swift's memory management system. In the previous section, we looked at functional programming concepts and built out our game of life application. In this section, we'll gain an understanding of how the compiler manages memory with automatic reference counting, also known as ARC. We'll spend some time using Xcode's instruments, which can help us to isolate performance issues. We'll also learn about the strong, weak, and unknown keywords, and finally, we'll create some zombies. The first video of this section will gain an understanding of memory management and how Swift's ARC allocates and deallocates memory for you. We'll also see a demo of ARC in action. Memory management is crucial in any application we write. This is due to the hardware limitations of our computers and mobile devices. In the past, developers were responsible for managing memory resources. In the Cocoa world, it was done by means of manual retain release, which is also referred to as just MRR. In MRR, the programmer would declare that an object be kept in memory by claiming ownership on every object created, and then releasing it when the object wasn't needed any longer. The alloc method was used to create an object and claim ownership over it, while retain was used to claim ownership of an already existing object. For brevity, I'll forego further explanation of traditional memory management and instead point you to this video's resource page. To summarize, memory management was tedious and simple mistakes would cause your application to run out of memory and crash. In 2011, Apple moved to automatic reference counting which tracks and manages our application's memory usage for us. In most cases, memory management in Swift just works, and we don't need to think that much about memory management. Arc automatically frees up the memory used by class instances when those instances are no longer needed. This shouldn't mean that we ignore memory management altogether, however. As professional iOS developers, we should always be mindful of the relationships between our code and memory. Each time a class is instantiated, ARC allocates a piece of memory for that instance. This piece of memory holds the information relevant to the type of instance, along with any values that are stored in properties associated with that instance. Then, after an instance isn't needed any longer, ARC purges it from memory so that space in memory can be used elsewhere. Of course, if your object was deallocated from memory while still in use by your application, it would crash. To avoid this, ARC uses reference counting to track each of the references to your class objects. As objects are instantiated, ARC increments the number of references to that object. Over time, as references are removed, the count is decremented. To avoid crashes, ARC will not deallocate an instance as long as even one active reference still exists. Once the reference count hits zero, ARC deallocates the instance from memory. In order for ARC to manage these references, it creates what's known as a strong reference each time we store an object. A strong reference tells ARC that it should keep a strong hold on that instance, which forces that object to remain allocated until the strong reference is destroyed. We'll look at these types of references in depth later in this section. We'll start by creating a new single view application and we'll go ahead and make a new class right away named Vehicle. I'll go ahead and paste this very simple class now. We see we have one property, a simple initializer, and a deinitializer. When our class is instantiated, we'll get an initialization message. When the class is deallocated, we'll get a deinitialization message. This will make it clear to us when our objects are added and removed from memory. Now, in our view controller, let's create some instances of this class. If we run our application, we'll see our car being initialized, but we don't see anything for reference 2. This is because reference 2 is an optional type. It gets initialized with a value of nil, so it doesn't actually have a reference to vehicle type yet. Since reference 1 has a vehicle assigned to it, there is now a strong reference from reference 1 to the new vehicle instance, and ARC will make certain that this vehicle is kept in memory. 
Let's assign our reference 1 to reference 2, and let's also add a third reference. There are now three strong references to this single vehicle instance for ARC to maintain. Now, we'll add a quick modification to this app to support a timer by adding a timer variable at the class level. We'll instantiate our timer inside of our view did load. And we'll create a function for our timer to fire at a given interval. If we set reference 3 and reference 2 to nil when our timer hits 3 seconds, we'll see that our dinit doesn't fire. However, when our counter hits 5 seconds, our vehicle is finally removed from memory. For more information on ARC, see Apple's documentation and be sure to watch WWDC 2011, Session 323. You can find links to both on this video's resource page. In this video, we learned about memory allocation and deallocation with ARC. We also saw an example of ARC in action.